The Indian Home Ministry has uh, recently red flagged the Zoom application on the basis of concerns raised by India's computer emergency response team over potential cyber attacks through the video conferencing app. Ministry of Home Affairs in its advisory through Cyber Coordination Center has termed Zoom as unsafe. The guidelines have been circulated to, to stop any unauthorized entry into the Zoom conferences and thwart malicious attack on other users. The Home Ministry has emphasized that the government officials should not use the application for official purposes. The major fear of the officials is that the use of uh, the application, Zoom application, has crossed 200 million since the lockdown began. According to a section of media, there exist more than 500,000 stolen passwords and account details for Zoom for sale on the dark web. Earlier, India's computer emergency response team had said uh, the, the application was vulnerable to cyber attacks, including leakage of sensitive information. According to the ministry, now many organizations have allowed their staff to work from home obviously due to lockdown, to stop the spread of coronavirus disease. Online communication platforms such as Zoom, Microsoft, Teams and Teams for Education, uh, Slack, Cisco, WebEx, etc. are being used for remote meetings and webinars. Insecure usage of the platform may allow cyber criminals to access sensitive information such as meeting details and conversations. Zoom has become extremely widespread. In fact, I've also used it many a times. And it has become popular recently as more and more people, employees are working from home during the lockdown period. Zoom video communications, you know, enable you to organize remote meetings, webinars, etc. with the audio video uh, for, for all participants. It is today one of the most downloaded app on the Play Store. In case of Zoom, it is claimed that a motherboard analysis revealed that its iOS, iOS app, beg your pardon, iOS app sends data to Facebook even if a user does not have an account on it. A user has filed a suit against the company alleging that the, the video conferencing app gathers information of its users uh, and, and, and you know discloses it uh, without authorization, uh, this, this personal information to, 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 to the third parties, including Facebook, which tantamounts to invading uh, privacy of users. According to Zoom's response, Zoom takes user security extremely seriously. A large number of global institutions ranging from world's largest financial services companies and telecommunications providers to non-governmental organizations and government agencies have done exhaustive security reviews of Zoom's user network and data center layers and continue to use Zoom uh, for most of all of their you know, unified communication needs. That's what Zoom claims. Well, cyber criminals are always plundering and praying for targets online through various insecure apps. We know that. They want to be one step ahead of the cyber cops. So just be safe as we enter the virtual world more than before. Stay safe and good luck.